be touched by what happened. He was a success story when he made it out, but it wasn't only making it out, folks. For those who, you know, again, you may be unaware of his, his history, his, his background, something young Dolph would do is he would purchase homes, and he always said he wanted to give his son a home Every, for his birthday, essentially. So by the time he graduated high school, he wanted his son to have almost two dozen homes. So he is essentially pumping money right back into this community by buying those homes and trying to, again, instill uh, that business mind frame into his children, hoping that would become generational. Uh, vowing his children would never, is how he put it, would never have to live the life that he lived. And that's taking care of his siblings. I think he had two brothers, two sisters, uh, some of which were incarcerated, unfortunately, early pregnancies, you name it, something that we hear much too often, something that, you know, is really a reality for a lot of people. And young Dolph was, uh, and not to try to paint him in this, you know, uh, all glitter and rainbows way, but even though he had a difficult life, he always said, I, I don't have, that's not me. I, I, I don't have to continue living that life. And I want to show my family how that, uh, how we can overcome. I want to show others, especially those who called South Memphis home. We know this was where he was, he was raised. He was raised by those in the community. He always said it once more, the streets were his father. So this was really personal and this was home. And that's why you would oftentimes see young off in particular coming back to this area, uh, Castelia Heights in particular, because that is where he was raised by his grandmother, along with, like I said, his siblings. Rest in peace to Young Dolph. This confirmed rapper Young Dolph shot and killed. Like, comment, subscribe, Money Low Channel. We out to the next.